Kathy here at Speak Kimberly and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how easy peasy it is to create a MailChimp subscriber list because you need a list so that you can bootstrap MailChimp. Okay so here we go let's go ahead and get started. You're going to be inside your MailChimp account and of course if you don't have a MailChimp account you can always go to MailChimp.com or I'll include a link at the bottom of this video tutorial so that you can get signed up for your very own MailChimp account. And the paid version of MailChimp is as little as 10 bucks a month, um, but it gives you some great features that you don't get with a free version. Free versions, you can have up to 2,000 subscribers, totally free, but you can't create any autoresponders, you can't use the time warp, and you can't use the schedule to send it when your people are most likely to open it. So for 10 bucks, I mean really totally worth it. So let's go ahead and do a create a list you're going to create a new list and you're going to give it a list name. Now your subscribers are going to see this so don't put anything crazy on there please. So for me I'm going to put um, bootstrappers. I'm just going to go ahead and put um, bootstrap and MailChimp. Sweet. So the default from email, I'm going to go ahead and put my email right here in this box. This is the email that if somebody replies to you, um, that's the email that they're going to get sent to. The default name is who you want it to show. It can either be your name, like I just put Kimberly in there, or it can be bootstrapping MailChimp. If you have a whole lot of programs, offerings, and services, you might want to use a product name so people know that that's coming from that group. But if not, if it's just you, put your name. It makes it much more personal. Then a little reminder about how people got on your list. So you're on this list because you love and adore hearing from me. Please don't put that. That's just me being silly. Put something real in there. The last thing is you get notifications. You can either get a daily summary of subscribers and unsubscribers, a one by one of subscribers as they happen, or a one by one as they unsubscribe. Please, for the love of all things Bootstrap and MailChimp, do not check any of these boxes. Yes, in the beginning, it is going to feel awesome when someone subscribes to your list and you are going to do a happy dance in your high heels every time someone does. But when you get to the point in your business, which is coming very soon for you because I can feel it, where you get 30 or 40 subscribers a day, that ain't going to feel so good anymore because you're going to have to weed your inbox of those all the time. So um, another little tip for this, if you really want to see these and you really want to like really feel the love, get the MailChimp app for your phone. The MailChimp app is awesome and it is free and it will also show you all of this stuff without crowding up your very own inbox. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And ta-da! I have a brand new list. Now look for the next tutorial from me on Bootstrap and MailChimp where I will tell you what you do now. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.